Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, August 15th, 2020. 89. 89. Wow. I, just, I, I didn't have that in my memory very long, so I just had to get it out. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I got to cheat and look at the sheet here. <laughs> oh, I love you. Um, it's been a week, and it's been an interesting week. Been to the doctors multiple times. Yes. Um, Stacy scheduled me last week, this week, and next week. Yes. For lots of doctors and lots of follow-ups, trying to get some things corrected and looked at and fixed. Um, not been feeling the greatest. Um, and um, yeah, so there. <laughs> uh, none of it's keto related. Just my body's feeling. <laughs> We're getting older. Yeah, just kind of <laughs> got a lot of things going on. So let's see. Last week, Bill was 328.6. This week, today, this morning, Bill was 328.2. So I'm down 0.4. And I'll be quite honest with you. I've got some things going on inside me and things that are happening that have made me go up as much as 9 pounds this week. And um, most of that was fluid, as well as the doctor confirming, yes, you got some stuff going on inside you. So, um, yeah, I'm just battling it. And I'm glad to see that it's not really like gaining, because I'll go up six, I'll go down four, I'll go up two, yeah. I'll go down six. It's, it's not making any sense. That's why I'm seeing the doctors and trying to get things straight. Yep. So I'm working on it. We're getting there. Yeah. But I'm stuck with my keto. I'm stuck with my car manager. Uh, I'm kind of thinking of changing things up a little bit in terms of um, I eat a lot of proteins and um, I'm kind of thinking maybe switching over to more greens. I do do vegetables, but I'm kind of thinking maybe some more salads mixed in there. Yeah. Uh, give my tummy a break on some of the proteins and stuff. Mostly just eggs and chicken, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. Yeah. But that's me in a nutshell this week. <laughs> I'm here. I'm alive. Yay. Thankful. Very much so. Got my blessings for that and moving forward. Absolutely. And so, you. last week I weighed in at 140.6. Um, I was retaining some water, wasn't feeling so awesome. And this morning I weighed in at 138. So, I'm down 2.6 pounds, still up, but down 2.6 pounds. Um, up from where you want to be? Up from where I want to be, okay. uh, up from where I'm comfortable. Um, I'm not bad. It's, you know, definitely better than 190 that I was. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same here. So, but it's, you know, it's uh, hopefully soon yeah. I'll be getting back to my regular routine. I go to the uh, pain management doctor for my clavicle Thursday. So I'm hoping to get released and... Full release, no restriction. Full release, no restriction and head it back to a normal life, normal schedule um, I've had some 2 to 10 30s. Those really throw our schedule all wonky for both of us. Eating habits and schedules are different because I'm at home. You start usually 9, 10 in the morning and then you get down about 11, 45 because she does a lot of doubles. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not at Costco, but Costco and then Camus. Yeah. So I, I don't mean, see Stace much. <laughs> although we did. Mm. So I'm a reservation agent for the state um, parks, camp, state parks yeah. Michigan, Washington, Tacoma Power Parks, and Wisconsin. And how many years have you been doing that? Uh, this is my second year. However, oh, I thought it was three. <clears throat> no, two. only two. And every year they give us free camping and we never use it. It's much better this year. But I will tell you, today we were supposed to be leaving for Vegas. For Another vacation. trip that we had planned months and months ago and it ended up just falling apart. Because of all the crazy Third vacation in the world. this year that's been canceled. So I went on because, of course, um, things have been a little different. I went on and found a local, only about probably about 25, 35 yeah. minutes from here, I found a camper cabin available for three days. Yeah, two days. doesn't that sleep like eight people? Yeah, it sleeps people? like eight. Um, so it's pretty good size. I'm super excited. Uh, work will pay for it. Um, yeah, and then I told Julia, bring a friend if you want. And, yeah. And we'll just have to see how that all pans out. I don't think Lauren's going to be able to make it with yeah, us. Yeah, unfortunately, Lauren won't be able to make it. She will be back to school. She moves into her apartment um, next week. Soon. Yeah, 25th or something like that. <sighs> yeah. I can't believe my 
all this baby's going to be 20, 20 years old mm -hmm. in October. And yeah, our, moving out on her own instead of a dorm. I just want to cry. <laughs> but I got to realize she's growing up and uh, it's still sad. Here's the nice part, though. She'll still be within 15 minutes of the house. She will so, be. you know, a lot of people... Longer distances this is and true. less Stop time. Crying, Stace. Yeah, you see her probably once or twice a week. With you know what I mean, so it's it's it works out good. We still get to see her and we still get to talk to her, and she still gets to come and take groceries, do laundry, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. I have to say though, I really love having her at home. I just a lot of times I'll just peek in her door and say good morning, and shut the door and go on my way. Or I'll make her breakfast or dinner or something. Just yeah, if I'm already making breakfast, just make a couple extra scrambled eggs and. Absolutely. Couple pieces of sausage or something. Say, here's some breakfast. Yeah. And she's still doing great on keto. She's not been losing as much. I don't think she's. Uh, I checked her ketones the other day. She was like eight. Uh, really good ketone yeah. on our keto mojo. Uh, not keto mojo, but yeah, keto mojo meter. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, no, it was the other one. We have two meters. Um, keto scan. But uh, it said that it was pretty much close to optimal. I think 10 is optimal, and she was like 7.8 or yeah, something. Yeah, she's lost inches. You can see, you can see, see it physically. Yeah, she didn't want to measure. Um, I did take pictures, so we'll have to take some new pictures um, so she can see the difference. Because I think that's what's... The scale is motivating, but I think when you see pictures and you see your body changing... Even your clothes just fit different. I remember right. those days, too. I mean, gosh, yeah. where did I start at for keto? Uh, 382 and I'm 328 now. Oh, that's kind of neat how the numbers reversed. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, even at 50 pounds or plus or whatever, makes a difference. When I carry salt downstairs, they're 40 pound bags. I carry a bag of salt downstairs. I'm like, holy cow, that was a workout. And then you realize when you go back up the stairs, oh, it's so much easier to go back up even. And then you think, man, I lost that. Right. Much. I lost more than that, you know. That's crazy. Yeah, so it motivates you when you think of things like that. Even during these stall times where I don't feel like I'm really making progress. But I am seeing doctors and trying to get some other junk fixed. I got some serious junk going on with me. So I got to get that stuff addressed. And we're working on it. We so. put it off for a while because I did not want to go anywhere near a doctor or a hospital or anything for months. Yeah. And uh, then it just got to the point where I think Stacy got tired of hearing me complaining and hurting. And she's like, no, we need to get to the doctor. Well, I feel bad. No. You know, when you don't and all feel of them good. Are, and... All of them are specialists. You go to your doctor and he's like, oh, no, we got to go get you a specialist for this, a specialist for that. And it gets kind of frustrating because. Yeah, but the good thing is we have good insurance and yeah. uh, we can get Thankful. you access to those specialists. And so now uh, we're doing it. We'll get some answers. Yeah, now we're doing it. And I'm hoping I can feel human again. <laughs> yeah. Well, you still look human. Yeah. You're my handsome. Ah, uh, thank you. So I think that's about it for this week for us. Yeah. Um, you know, we're just checking in every Saturday, trying to get a quick video done and tell you where we're at and what's going on in life. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we've all stayed healthy, which is huge. Not gonna work. That's that's <laughs> what I'm mostly grateful for. Absolutely. And um, just trying to resolve some of these other issues that are going on. Didn't sleep. Haven't slept much this week. I am doing uh, uh, intermittent fasting, 16-8 uh, windows, and I did complete a 37-hour, 30, just shy of like 15 minutes shy of 37-hour <laughs> fast this week. So I'm really kind of puzzled why my weight was like at one point really up and I couldn't wear my ring and I didn't even want my watch on. And I'd seen the doctor and then I got the results of the kidneys and stuff. And, yeah. and he's like, yeah, you're, you're going to be having some issues here for a couple of days. So that's what we're trying to combat. But yeah, I, I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong food wise, and I'm like, how could I be up six pounds? He's like, yeah, it's fluids. We gotta work on that. So yeah, that's one of my special things. <laughs> like his uh, his new haircut. Oh, yesterday I just woke up and I was so rough. <laughs> I hadn't shaved in weeks, and Julia told me, Dad, you need to shave, and I was like, all right, I guess I do. So I cut my hair and I shaved and then Stacy came home. She's like, holy cow, you look so different. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was, I kind of just let things go for a while. I wasn't feeling well. And I uh, just, I don't know, we don't go anywhere. <laughs> it just kind of like lost interest in just taking care of myself for a little bit there, I guess. Aww. 
But I, you know, I felt good clean up. Yeah. And I wear a CPAP at night, so the, <laughs> the stubblies and all the stuff was bugging me. So, yeah. Made a better, made a better fit for my mask on my face. Better fit when he kisses me, too. I don't Aww. look all those doubles. Yeah. It is Julia. She's like, <laughs> get away from me with that little Brillo pad on your face. I know. Gosh, Julia is going to be... 12. 12. Yeah. Next month. Yep. <sighs> and I have no idea what's going on with Michigan and back to school and how that's all going to work. It's all virtual to start off with, at least for the first six weeks. It'll be virtual learning, and then they're going to... Address it from there, I See, guess. The, the, for us, it won't affect me. Right. I'm more worried about affecting Julia because I am home. I, I do my graphics design. I do the t-shirts the and the things that I do are from home. So I'm home anyway. Right. So it's not a problem for us, but I could see that being a big problem for a lot of people who are nine to fivers that go out and yeah. they're used to having their kids go to school. Maybe grandma helps during the summer and stuff, but, you know, double duty on those things because they're going to need more help. Yeah. So God bless our teacher friends who are doing, you know, both uh, his sister and my sister-in-law are both uh, elementary school teachers and um, doing the virtual learning and having to adapt and hmm. move forward. So we'll see. Yeah. We have to say an extra prayer for them too. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for yeah. watching and hanging out with us for a little bit and hearing our babble. Um, we appreciate you and yeah. hope you have a wonderful day. Hope everybody's doing good. We need to do some check-ins too and just kind of catch up on other channels as yeah. well. I don't see Stace much lately. And uh, when I do, we just have to like ram through the things that we're trying to address or yeah. going through finances or whatever and just <laughs> try and keep ourselves awake last night. She came back upstairs at like what? 1220. Yeah, 1220. Was when she got done. She had a problem with the computer down there for Camus. Yeah. And by the time we started talking 15 minutes later, her head was drooping. I'm like, go to bed. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Couldn't stay up anymore. So. Although I am excited because today I only work until 630 and then I don't have to work tonight. Wow. It's yeah. a Saturday night. We're going to have a date. We're going to have a movie date. Yeah, let's try and catch up on. He doesn't we know gave what to up do. On, we gave up on TV shows. That just doesn't happen anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it lets us binge watch when I do get a moment. I watch weird things <laughs> on Netflix by myself because I know she wouldn't care anyway. So yeah. That's what we end up doing nowadays. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, thanks again for checking in with us. And we will see you next week. And I think this week you're going to try and get out a video or two. But yeah. I don't know. I got another keto book, too. So I wanted to give you some inspiration and some ideas. Yeah, yeah. I would love some more keto chili, I think. I think Lauren would enjoy that, too. Oh, I can make Maybe that. Maybe we'll look into what it takes to make keto chili and uh, throw some of that together. Yeah. Darn good. I can do really it. Really good. I don't need it, but I can make it. <laughs> I can make it, too, but I just don't know what we need. i got to look at the <laughs> instructions and ingredients. All righty. Okie dokie, guys. Have Bye. a great weekend. Bye. For the ninth time. <laughs> <laughs>